Hello everybody, this is Peter C. and Hannah on J Master Animatronics, and what I have here to review for you today is the Jemmy Life Size Talking Zombie. Um, this is another Life Size I'm going to review today. Um, I'm trying to do all like the foldable ones that I have. But, um, as you saw in the last review, I did Grave Keeper, I'm going to do this guy, and next I have um, another foldable reefer that I'm going to be reviewing. But anyways, um, so this guy, um, a lot of you probably recognize him, he's actually very rare. He's made in uh, 2008, I believe. Um, I know he's sold on buycostumes.com, probably some other websites. I'm not really entirely sure. Maybe um, americansale.com, I think. Um, and as far as like actual stores, I'm really not sure. I'm sure someone could tell, uh, tell me in the comments. But um, yeah, he's very cool. He's actually another one of my favorite items that I own. I always remember seeing this guy on Buy Costumes many years ago for sale. like. When I was a little kid, I just watched a demo video of him all the time. I always wanted one. But uh, he's very detailed, the clothing is very high quality. He has blood stains all over him. It's actually like a little hook there from a, the original tag was that's still on there, but the tag is missing, unfortunately. Um, he has the same hands as the Gatsu gentleman. Kind of a cheap plastic, but you can't really tell just by looking at it until you touch it. You can easily press it in. Uh, just these scuffs on the face, nothing too major though. And I actually got this guy from him, um, again I got this from Max as well, but what, uh, just like I did with the Gravekeeper. Um, I think I paid him for this, I don't remember how much I did, it was a while ago. But uh, yeah, I had him I think since November when we met up is when I got him. But um, he was actually in pretty bad condition when Max had him. Now actually, as you can see, I don't know if you guys would know, but um, he actually didn't originally come with feet, so actually what Max did was he modded him because when Max saw him, he didn't have the original poles or the base. He was missing them, so what he did was he just took poles from another prop that, you know, had the feet attached already. I forgot what prop this is from, but some prop that he parted out, so then he just put a put custom poles in there and it actually fits him perfectly, just like he would be originally. The only difference is he doesn't have an actual base of shoes, I actually just, you know, the base. You know, they have like those little supports on the front. But yeah, originally he would have like a base like uh, that one right there. It would look like that. And he wouldn't have feet. But, um, you know, it looks just as good. It's not a, you know, I don't care, not a problem to me. It actually looks better with feet, in my opinion. Um, also, the, this wig is an original, but again, it looks just as good as the original one would. Uh, when Max saw him, the uh, wig was all like rotted and just like falling apart, so he just threw it away altogether. And he was bald for a while, so. But then when I bought him, I, luckily I had a wig just like the original. I had to cut it a little bit to, so that it would fit right. But um, no one would know the difference. It's pretty much the exact same as the original. Same material and everything, so. That turned out well. But other than that, he's had no repairs. Um, his eyes light up, he talks, and yeah, that's basically it. No movements. But um, still pretty cool. You can see a little light sensor in his mouth there. I'm trying to think what else I should say about him. There's also another version of him that's a lot more rare. That's, um, most of you guys have probably seen it. It's like, uh, it has suspenders on. It's a white shirt with black suspenders. It's, um, has like a white face like him, but he's bald. He doesn't have hair. And the face isn't exactly the same. He has actual eyeballs like this one. But, um, I want that one really bad. It's probably my number one most wanted item of all time. Like, it's my life goal to find that thing. It's extremely rare. I've only found about seven or eight ever, like I've ever been seen. I've been tracking them down, but um, <laughs> yeah, this guy, he's pretty rare too, but not as rare as that one, I would say. But yeah, I also pose his arms, his arms are posable. I pose his arms in the exact same position as they were in the uh, demo video that Jenny made. Just thought that would be kind of cool. You know, he just looks like he's reaching for you or something. But um... Yeah, the same face as the Gatsby Gentleman, Quivering Doorman, and like 20 other Jimmy things. But yeah, I think I pretty much explained everything on him, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn him on.
show them to you one more time. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next review.